Humans of the Cardboard, welcome back to Just Nuts Guys. Tiny little news video tonight. Uh, just a basic reveal from Konami. They do this every three months. We have the new announcement for the next core set. These are the main sets in, in our Yu-Gi-Oh! game. Um, we are about to get the next one, Infinite Forbidden, in like less than a month. Then three months from that, Rage of the Abyss. We're still getting reveals for that one. And then after that one, we have this new set called Supreme Darkness. Very, very uh, uh, interesting name here. Um, there's not much here aside from a date and a name. Uh, this is set to come out in the OCG. Do they give a date here? Yeah, October 26th. So this is giving me like super late vibes for us. If they're getting this in October, uh, then we're probably getting this in January probably. This is probably our January 2025 set. Um, which makes a ton of sense. That's kind of how timeline things work out for us. We normally get sets in either late January, early February, something like that. Um, anyway, the bigger thing here is the name. I guess the biggest information here is the name because as we can tell from certain names, we actually get quite a bit of information. If we look back to the set prior to this one, Rage of the Abyss, basically on the announcement of the set, we pretty much, basically everybody in the community called that shit as shark support, shark set, new sharks. Boom, it was confirmed a couple months later, shark support. The set before that, Infinite Forbidden, we all talked about Exodia? That seems like a name that has stuff to do with Exodia. Exodia archetype comes through there. The problem is here, I don't know what set this is supposed to be for because if you look back on past darkness sets, uh, a, the last set with darkness in its name, because if you look at like Rage of the Abyss, you could go back to Rise of the Abyss. Uh, if you go back to Phantom Darkness, you actually go back to U-Bell support, but that doesn't really make that much uh, sense here just because we just got a U-Bell set. So that seems like that set was more tailored to this. Uh, so I don't really know what the what the aim here is, what the what this set could be based on. Maybe it's not based on a past set. I don't know. I think it comes down to this name is so generic. Supreme Darkness. Oh yeah, Darkness, Darkness. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, yeah, the most utilized type or attribute of monster in the entire game of Yu-Gi-Oh, sure. Yeah, that whittles it down. It doesn't at all. This is this is super open-ended. I really have no idea where this will go. This does make me think there will be something to do with obvi obviously dark stuff. So are we talking like maybe more of an antagonist role? Antagonists in Yu-Gi-Oh tend to play the dark cards. Uh, could we looking, be looking at evil heroes? Destiny heroes even are all dark, right? Could we see something like that? I have no idea. Um, it's super open-ended here, and we won't really find out for quite a bit, right? This is just the announcement. We still have, like, over a month of uh, Rage of the Abyss reveals to go, and then probably, like, two, three weeks from there is when we will actually look at this. So we're still probably a month and a half to two months away from actually seeing the first reveals for this set. But uh, I'm still excited to see it, you know, uh, just like anything. So uh, there you go. That's basically the whole announcement there. It's all speculation at this point. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts down below. What do you think makes sense here? Keep in mind that when, we, when it comes to core sets, the name of the set usually only has anything to do, at least in the last multiple years, the name of the set usually only has anything to do with the actual cover cards and nothing else. So if it is not a popular anime character, this name probably means nothing to anything else. Everything else is just up to Konami's choice uh, on that. Um, but as far as the name goes, it probably has something to do with some sort of dark archetype. Do they make a new new Bakura retrains where they give like dark Necrofear retrains, stuff like that. I know they already kind of did that uh, a while ago, but like just an idea, just dark attribute popular anime archetype kind of thing that's generally where they lean here so uh, we will see where that culminates for supreme darkness but i'm out here for today thank you so much for watching as always let me know your thoughts down below any ideas theories that you might have for this core set here what dark archetypes do you think make sense here or is there another like old set that makes sense here this one doesn't really make sense to me because it's like you bell based for rise of the abyss going to rage of the abyss those are both shark based you know what i mean core cover sets and they translated pretty like seamlessly there i just don't know if there's one like that seamless for uh, supreme darkness but we'll have to wait and see on that other than that i'm out of here thank you for watching let me know your thoughts down below i'll see you guys in the next video peace